approaching Misrata port under cover of darkness, but well in view of NATO radar. This is a NATO warship conducting United Nations mandated embargo operations. Ours is a Maltese trawler laden with food and humanitarian supplies. Not all the boats docking here carry cargo that is so benign. The sea is a vital supply route, the only one for a city besieged by land. For two months, battle has raged along a front line that cuts Misrata in half. No one knows what's become of civilians on the other side, but the defenders of the city do appear to be gaining ground. A ragtag band of fighters who until just two months ago were mostly civilians, now using limited weaponry and a lot of heart, are holding regime forces back. One man told me in their dreams will they take this city back, but that surely won't stop Gaddafi's men from trying. As they do, the price of resistance gets higher. The main hospital was destroyed three weeks ago. Now the dead are brought to a smaller clinic where they wait among children's things in the pediatric ward. The barely living, meanwhile, await medical evacuation by sea, vacating beds that will quickly be filled again. So, some days we couldn't count, believe me, because hundreds of hundreds, so we didn't count. We have to treat, not count. We try to change her clothes. She's crying. The dead and injured are not only those doing the fighting. This kid, she was uh, at home. She was playing in, in the garden at home with her family. So suddenly there's attack, which is uh, which is a big, with, with multiple missiles, which we call the Grad, I think. I'm not a military person, but I think there's uh, multiple uh, missiles comes with uh, one of these missiles hit their house. With long-range weapons being fired into civilian areas, no place is safe. Some people they ask us, do you have enough supply of painkiller or this kind of medication? We don't know. We, uh, today we have. But how many patients will come, how many patients will die, how many injuries will, we will receive, we never know. A father watches helpless as doctors work to revive his son, a shrapnel injury to his head. A man wounded on the front line will live to fight another day. It was described as a quiet morning. They knew it wouldn't last. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Misrata, Libya.